Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about LibreCAD. This is the very first tutorial that I'm going to give on this thing. And uh, we're going to talk on this very first video how you actually set the thing up. So I've started it and it's come up with its default values right now. Okay, let's talk a little bit about how the screen looks. On this top screen you got a set of toolbars that allows you to do file operations, print, this is an undo and a redo. Undo I use a lot. <laughs> and uh, this allows you to redraw the screen. Sometimes it gets a little mixed up and it's good to just redraw it. And then uh, these right in here allow you to zoom in, zoom out on the drawing. And there's some other ways of zooming in, zooming out. Okay, over here on the uh, left hand side is a set of commands that you'll be using and we'll be using those a lot we'll kind of go through them uh, later on and then right here on the right hand side is a thing called the layer list and we will be using that in the very next tutorial and then below it's the block list blocks are pre-drawn segments that you're going to use over and over it's going to be a little while before we get to those but uh we got a long way to go. So we're going to start out. I want to show you this very top menu, which is up here, and it's all in words. File brings up where it allows you to be able to save the drawings. Uh, and edit is going to be one that we're going to deal with here in just a minute. But you got the re redo and the undo. It's got pretty much the same things that are on the uh, top little menu bar. But it has two more that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, then we have the ability to view stuff, which is also on this this uh, menu bar. And then we start getting into the buttons that are actually on this menu bar over here to the left. Okay, the main one that we're going to have to deal with right now is edit. And what I'm wanting to do on edit is I want to edit the current drawing preferences. Current drawing preferences... We'll go to paper first. We're going to set the paper up to legal. I'm sorry. Letter. We're going to set the units up to inches. Because by God we're Americans, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, the rest of the world uses millimeters. Uh, we will be using inches. And you have other ones even. You can go meters, kilometers. Uh, depends on what the skill of the drawing is. And then we have the, uh, once we get that set to inches, we're going to go to decimal for us on this, this particular drawing. And I'm going to set the uh, precision down to point, two decimal points, uh, accurate to a tenth of an inch. But you could go a lot more, as you saw there. And uh, so at least that way we're not dealing with fractions, which uh, we will in the future. But at the moment, we're not going to deal with that. We're going to keep things as simple as we can. Okay, your angle is going to be in decimal degrees. So we're doing it measuring in degrees, and we got a precision of two decimal points on that also. That's pretty much the way we're going to set it up for this drawing. On grid, I personally don't like the grid except in very few uh, cases. So, I just turn it off. Okay, dimensions and splines, we're going to have to come back and deal with those. And uh, I'll explain that later on. Alright, we're ready to save that. We turned off the grid. And then there's one other one up here on menus, on the edit. We could have done the application preferences. About the only thing that I do on application preferences is the background. The background is left, I'll leave it at black, which is the way it is right now with all zeros. But you have the option to make it all Fs, which makes it white. White is useful whenever you have a uh, drawing that you're wanting to do a screenshot of and turn into a photograph. But white is not useful at least I don't like white because it burns my eyes after a while. I, I'd prefer to be looking at a dark screen. So maybe that's personal preference, but I think it's probably a smart one. Anyhow, we're going to go back to applications and we're going to set that to uh, zero. Go back to the black screen. 
Okay, we're now into the drawing, and you can see right here, at the drawing itself, there's this little plus mark. And what that is, that's coordinates zero, zero. But uh, I normally don't worry about that. I usually start my drawing wherever I feel like starting it. And uh, we've got five minutes into this video, so I'm going to break at this point. And when we come back, we'll have this whole video set up just exactly like it is right now. And uh, we'll continue on. We'll actually create some drawings. Appreciate you listening. Thank you.